Hey there, do you have a nativity scene in your house? Any set will do. And if you don't have one, feel free to improvise, maybe use some toy characters or craft your own figures, or you could even visit a nativity scene as a family. It doesn't have to be fancy, especially if you have little fingers in your home that are prone to breaking things. This is the set that my family uses. This year, we wanna invite you into practice from Tracy Smith's book, Faithful Families for Advent and Christmas, and we wanna encourage you to use the nativity scene as a place to begin reflection and discussion because kids do so well with tangibles. It helps them make connections to the prayers and activities, the very ones that we've been engaging in this month. And so with your family, I wanna invite you to take turns, each taking a piece of the nativity. One of you can pick up Mary, one of you can pick up Joseph, and so on. Now, if that's not possible in your context, totally fine. Just talk about each character throughout this practice. And so I'm gonna invite you to go around the circle and each talk about your character. What was their role in the birth of the baby Jesus? How do you think they felt? Now, after everyone has had a chance to talk and share, ask this question. Where do you see yourself in the nativity? This might yield some super creative, and fun responses, which is so great. Embrace it. You can also talk about which characters seem the easiest to relate to. Ask how we would feel if we found ourselves in the nativity scene. Engage your senses. What would it look like, smell like, sound like, feel like? This can be a super fun way to involve your family in some deep and meaningful reflection about the very night that Jesus was born. And if you give this practice a try, let us know how it goes. We'd love to hear about the conversations that are happening in your homes. Thanks everyone, have fun and Merry Christmas.